As evidence mounts against him, the man becomes agitated. No, 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 no,
They were all aged between 14 and 19. They walked past the tower pretty much looking like they owned the whole place. And that's when the, the cops actually arrived. You four, get the window now. There's been a bag stealing and it's been alleged that you've been involved because you're all in the same group. Yeah. So oh, we didn't do nothing. How come your mate ran? I don't know, you asked him. So unfortunately, the main suspect had done the runner and, and the police tried. They questioned uh, suspects down, who they thought parade. may have been the culprits. Male, Asian appearance, wearing a black hoodie, blue shorts. Uh, he's shoeless. So what's in the bag? Can you tell me what's in here? Uh, mine's boxing gloves. Hey? Boxing gloves. When the police caught up with them, they were searched, but they didn't find anything, so they were given a move on direction. They're going in the pavilion? Green what were they, were they wearing green? Yeah. And green hat, white. Green hat, white? The wee, the wee fat one and... Oh, sorry. <laughs> and uh, there was another guy with tattoos and jogging buttons on. So we were watching uh, yeah. other folks' bags where we were in the sea and they were really suspicious. Detective Beardy goes undercover. The guy, green hat, white shirt. Yeah, we've got a mate that got the green hat taking his white shirt off. Back going for round three, mate. We got him in clear sight. Well, I keep an eye on that bloke around the corner, probably where they're dropping the gear back for him, then heading back on the beach. Troy also joins in the covert surveillance. Watch him look at this bag. I don't know where his mate went. His mate had the black tracksuit pants on. Yeah. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Sure. Wait, you saw him in the side? Yeah, that's around our sword. lifeguard standing at the statue there. Troy. That guy's still around the corner there. Still there. Hopefully. Yeah, he's just, just in the um, archway there. You'll see him. Yeah, cool, he's got no shirt on. He's just sitting there. Is the bag set? Eh? Oh, I'm pretty sure the bag's are still there. We'll go out there. Thanks, mate. Sweet. Go right here, yeah. I'm going to put an atom just in the police station. Yeah, mate. Got an allegation made today, all right, that you're going through a handbag oh, that's yeah, been stolen down the beach. Whose phone's that? Whose phone's this? Yep. Mates. Your mates. Yeah, they just call Police try to establish whether the suspect is working in a gang. How'd this bag here get here? Oh, no, that was, they, that was with them and they, just, they left here and went back. So the boys, the boys down the beach took this bag and brought it back up here for you, is that what you're saying? No, I'm just sitting here. I was with them and they went off. Now under arrest, the teenager potentially faces time in juvenile detention. Take stuff off, take it off your head. You go on the back of this I'll truck wear, here. Wear my Put shirt. it on there. Got him. See that? Who got him? Got the police, got him arrested, got him for all this shit around there. Really? Yeah. With one alleged thief in hand, Lifeguards keep watching the man in the green cap, possibly a second member of the gang. That table was full of gear, mate. There was well, he just of... picked up that guy's bag. Did he really? Yeah. He did not have that bag on him when he walked down. Give me look. Oh, behind the tent. Watch. He's just got this guy's bag. But he got no, it across. Nah. No way. He didn't. He just picked that up. Steve and Brent, who had their bag stolen on the way to the cricket, noticed something very familiar. Uh, he's wearing his hat and no, son, he's got his hat. camera. Where's me the rest of his shit now? I don't know where the rest of his shit is, like. The idiot's wearing his hat and his sonny's with his camera around his shoulder. With growing evidence a gang of thieves are operating, plain clothes detectives join in. Last warning for your language. You. You're under arrest for offensive language. Good on you. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Make me stand up. Thank you. I don't want to walk. Can I grab my mate's bag? No. Pass me my mate's bag. Arrest me, please. Give You're me under a... arrest. I want my smokes back, yep. man. Jump the back of the truck. Jump the back of the truck. A second suspect is in custody, but the boy's big day at the cricket is still in ruins. It was my hat. Could you help me out with...
Hey mate, how are you? Hi boys, how are you? Um, I'm just wondering uh, how long will you be waiting here for? Oh, we're, gonna, we're just about to go now. Oh, you're about to go? Yeah. I was about to ask you to mind my bag. But... Lifeguards are unable to mind people's belongings. Hey mate, just see, if you see a family or something, just say hello to the family yeah, and ask no, him. Because last time I was here, all my shit got robbed. So. No way. He wanted us to look after his bag while he went for a swim, and I can see why, because last time, he, last time he did it, it got stolen. Minutes after the man talks about thieves on the beach, reports come in about stolen phones. Hello. Me and Ryan are in the buggy, and this young lady came up to us and she said that. Oh, really? They've spotted someone stealing a bag and he's still at North Bondi. Yeah. Uh, we've just got a bag thief down at North Bondi currently. A description of the alleged phone thief is vital. He's wearing a grey cap, uh, no shirt, necklace. Yeah, tattoo on the left. Tattoo on the left hand. The description, the location, Lifeguards may have already met this suspected thief earlier today. I was about to ask you to mind my bag. When the girl gave me the description, I started piece two and two together and I thought, oh no. Harrison spots the suspect heading north along the promenade. We've got a location for this step, I. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just get the cops down for it. I could see him and he could see me. I asked, said, look, there's been some bag thieves going on. Could I search your bag? You can look through that if you want. Yeah. And he was more than happy to. My, uh, my bank card, yeah, I yeah, don't actually it. have an ID. Has it ever happened before? No, it hasn't happened before, whereas bag thief wanting to hand a bag over to the lifeguard to mind the stuff that's been stolen off the beach. I'm waiting on my maid to come. But... I'm going through his bag, and it's just his wallet. There's nothing there. I thought, maybe they've got the wrong guy. That, that, that's my backpack, bro. There's been no robberies. Just when it looks like lifeguards have the wrong man, Harrison catches a lucky break. I was just leaning over the fence and I looked down and there's an iPhone right underneath me in the kids' pool. One phone in the water may be an accident, but two phones? I just go, oh no, he's tucked me that good. As that's all happening, the group of local people were yelling out to us going, Harrison, we saw him throw it. When the boys weren't looking, I uh, just saw something flying above our heads and then we just head down and we saw the phone. Is there another iPhone down there There's we can see? There's another one down there as well. It's nothing to do with me. Mate, we get people accusing you of stealing stuff and you want us to search your bags, and then all of a sudden, exactly where you're standing, there's two iPhones in the water. Nothing got to do with me, bro. As evidence mounts against him, the man becomes agitated. No, 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 no,